In this video, we're going to get started with our Greek hero's body. We're going to get started drawing the torso. So notice I've added a layer in the layer window, called it torso. And now I'm drawing on that layer. So we're going to begin with the Add Points tool. And as always, I like to start off with just a, a few points, a minimal number of points to, to get me going. So here I've added just three points to create a line and that line is eventually going to become our hero's torso. So here I'm just choosing a, a fill color. So at this point I want a nice you know, fleshy tan color so uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the, the color chooser one more time and I'll try to get something off the palette that would be suitable for a uh, uh, a Greek hero. All right, so we're going to get a nice sort of bronzed, fleshy tone. Uh, I'll create the shape. And now we are ready to begin drawing. And again, I really love the Anime Studios uh, vector graphics system. It really lets you sort of sculpt your shapes. And that's what you're going to see me do now. Uh, you're going to see me start uh, sculpting the the rough uh, torso outline right so here you can see that I've roughed out a sort of a uh, a chest area we're going to give our hero broad shoulders right as any uh, as any Greek hero should have and here basically you're, you're going to just see me pushing and pulling points until I'm roughly satisfied with the uh, outline uh, that I want for the hero. Alright, so now you're going to see me overlay a shape uh, on top of the torso, which is going to become, you know, his uh, loincloth or whatever, right? So this is going to uh, eventually uh, turn into um, uh, a shape that is going to be uh, overlaid on top of um, the torso for our figures. So here all I'm doing now is selecting points to create the shape and I can use the same technique that we used earlier to create the uh, the beard and the, the hairline and so forth uh, to go ahead and um, overlay that. Alright, so now I'm going to go back into add points mode and we'll go ahead and add some lines to define the chest area. All right, so I want our hero to be nice and muscular. So I'm going to call out some defining lines for the chest anatomy here. And the technique that you're going to see me use, the Anime Studio technique that you're going to see me use here is kind of interesting. So notice that all I'm doing at this point is adding the points, right? And now I'm going to go ahead and create the shape, and but this isn't going to give me a filled shape. It's just going to give me the uh, the lines, the lines for the chest. Oopsie, made a little mistake here, but that's another thing I really like about drawing in Anime Studio. You have that uh, Control Z reflex going, right? You use Control Z to undo uh, any move you're not satisfied with. Um, that's another thing I particularly like about drawing in this system. But anyway, I've just created the lines, right? So all I've done is use the create shape to create the lines. Now you're going to see me use uh, the Anime Studio line width tool. That's this guy here that I'm hitting with the, the mouse. Um, the line width tool is great in Anime Studio. You don't see this in some other uh, vector graphics systems, but certainly you see it here. And you can see what uh, effects you can create with this. So this allows you to produce um, a very interesting stylistic lines, highly stylized drawings, uh, which can really be used to create some uh, cool effects. So here uh, you'll see me sort of refining the, the widths and, and calling out that muscular turn on the chest. I'm going to end the video now, uh, but you'll see the finished uh, drawing if you go back to the text.